Okay, I need to I need to read this. This is interesting. The sack da uh, the sack down perks TLDR. Heretic screams for sitting uh, 35 to 40 percent win rate arguments between players and staff and mostly draft and also game approach. Okay. Had an argument with Renea over a recorded Discord call that others can access and felt that his privacy was a bit violated. Ideas on the game weren't aligning with Arnea, who has a lot of ego for someone who, who was an average bad player in his career. The player's voice doesn't matter as much as it did in the past. At the end of him speaking up led to him getting benched for the sake of the team. He and others found it stupid, especially four days before Alice started. He'd have read it more to align with Arnea's Redditor opinion so he doesn't get benched and they would be a top team with Chimbi. Biggest regret was joining Heretics, could have joined SK, which... He didn't because of the roster, but he liked the Aska gaming coaches, and in hindsight, he would have joined them or picked nostalgia. But also, he didn't join houses, then Wunder would most likely be teamless due to Weep on Nemesis option. Cloud9 was a success, won a split, and almost won the second one. Well, yeah. uh, almost won the second one, went to Amazon and got out of groups at Worlds. Perks is bothered by the community, expectation for him to win. All because he did so well with G2, which was perfect foundation, so he started playing bad starting summer 2023. Perks was the coach of Vitality back in 2022, he decided to boom the roster due to anger after not making playoffs, and he regrets that. In hindsight, he would build a new roster on Perks and Kyrzy. Also with Perks, Bo upset would easily get top 2 minimum with this meta. Europe lacks develop rookies, Jack is the best middle rookie to come since Larsen Hummel at Nemesis era. Midlands like Zara or Saka and Frisco don't have the ambition to win. Oof, that's gonna cause so much drama. Europe was terrible between 2018 and is terrible now. Before 2018 is terrible now. Well, that's... I agree with that. Faker, better than Rookie, better than Showmaker, better than Chovy. Showmaker is underrated and Chovy is the closest to perfect. I don't really get this. What? What? I, like... I don't really get this. Was this like, how is this rating made? Like currently Chovy is for sure by far the best. If this is an all time list, I can kind of get it. Luck plays a big part in some players career. Players get dropped after two splits on a dysfunctional team. Mansions 2016 finals versus Xpec OG where Emperor stole Baron with his Runan Sprock and Xpec is only was off by 0 0.1 second and since then Perk snowballed, uh, career snowballed. Well, yeah, this is true. I mean, yeah, Luck does play a big part. Especially like, I mean, yeah, not just luck, also like connections and all that. Perk still enjoys playing League, after experience the shithole in Heretics. <laughs> Holy shit, he was really flaming them, what the fuck? He will never join an organization that he isn't fully happy with. He doesn't care about salary, he wants to have an influence on the team with his game knowledge and on previous success, he wants to work with rookies younger than 20 years, 20 years old. I think he has a lot to offer. Rookies younger than 20 year olds. I don't like that type of statement because, like, you know, that doesn't really mean anything, but I kind of get, like, what he's trying to say. But I don't think there should be, like, an age limit here. Like, there shouldn't be, like, a perfect age number. That 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 I don't like. Happy to get practice when pros come to Worlds in Europe doesn't get fulfillment from grinding for rank streams like someone like Nemesis could. Okay. Yeah, I get that. That's not for everyone. Wunder could have joined G2 in 2016. Gilius decided to decline 750k from FlyQuest after the Miracle Run with Schalke. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I guess. And they had the money back then. Goddamn. I mean, <laughs> interesting. Why the fuck are GX and Roxy and LEC misfits were the smartest for selling their spot for 40 mil? Still own 20% of Heretic slot. Lord is dying because of new, new players. That's the TLDR. That's also true, yeah? League in West is kind of dying, yeah. There is so lack of players, you can kind of feel it when you're playing solo queue. Damn! That's kind of entertaining, because Perks really does speak his thoughts when he goes to, like, interviews and stuff. Usually, like, there's a lot of PR and bullshit along the way, but goddamn, this guy just went all out on, on heretics. He doesn't care, I guess. What the fuck? Okay, now a quick check on what Reddit thought about this. What is Reddit's opinion on all of this? Basically, Perks got Dan it. I got one with you by Spanish managers. Arnea sounds like a man child. Why the fuck did he, as a GM, think he was qualified to start coaching person how to play medium when the guy hasn't played in 10 years? 
And the idea that this guy was so emotional when Perks told him he's clueless that he just ousted Perks out of that team is ridiculous. Perks is honest with himself here and says he was an angel, nothing in him as well as he could have, but I still think getting rid of him forever was crazy. In the honest, horrifying, the GM decisions are still influenced by Reddit and Twitter opinions 14 years into the godless esport. Well, I, like, okay, so I can say something to this is like, I was shown a DM like last year or two years ago, it was pretty recent still, of a team owner, like a CEO of team owner, DMing somebody on Twitter, asking what he thinks of like X players because they're thinking of like signing them. And the person that he was like DMing on Twitter is not like a coach or not like an analyst or not like a player. It's just like one of those people that like make these profiles on Twitter and then they like co like talk a lot about esports and then they like gain like some following of certain fan bases. Like they might have like a thousand followers, like ten thousand followers, and they're just like a lot tweeting a lot, and then they're like pretending to be like experts in the scene, but they don't really like that. They're not like coaches, analysts. They're not like high of the game. And yeah, I saw like a DM of that where like a CEO was like DMing like a person that like should have no, you know, no influence on, opinion, or on rosters or whatever. And yeah, he was like asking him about like certain players because yeah, it's basically, basically like going on Reddit and asking for an opinion. That's like pretty much it. This is why, this is like one of the reasons why I can't get myself into watching pro. It's just like a lot of pros are just really boring these days. Nobody wants to like say anything. Compared to someone like Perks, he, like even if he's totally shit at the game, he's still so fucking fun to watch. Just because uh, he always like just speaks his mind. And he, and he, like if he, if he hates someone, he's just gonna say it. And I really respect that, you know. You should rephrase that and maybe not say that he's giga shit at the game. Yeah, true. Okay, I didn't, I didn't mean that he's giga shit at the game. I meant like when he has like splits where he maybe plays bad or like worse than usual and then like the whole Reddit flames him saying that he's the worst player ever to touch the game or whatever because this is what Reddit does or social media. So and, and that's like my point like even if he is like having a bad split I would rather watch him than watch like a lot of good players. But you're right I should have phrased it better because I already know like there's like a clip channel that perma clips me out of context and it's so fucking annoying man. There's a clip channel that always does like clickbait titles on me, things that I didn't say, and then they like put it on YouTube. It's really annoying. I already know it's gonna be on YouTube in like a few hours. GG. I had plenty of opportunities to, um, to accept offers that offered a lot of money and I didn't take them, you know? But yeah, Perks made really good decisions in his career because this guy is a multimillionaire at this point. And he has had a really, really successful career. The, the only problem with like playing, the only problem with like player careers is that you're often remembered, you're often remembered um, at your, like as your last series, you know? So not like everybody's gonna, I mean, not everybody, but like a lot of people just forget like the early years when Perks was winning a lot and now they're only thinking about like the last two, three years or whatever.